1. 2 Timothy 2.15. The Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Have you ever thought about that? The Bible gives us a command to study the Bible. How are you doing with that? And it says so that we can be approved of God. Do you want God to approve of you? I do. And then the Bible says, rightly dividing. Have you ever thought about that? The Bible tells us to divide it correctly, divide it right. Do you know there's divisions in the Bible? Have you ever thought about that? In the Bible itself, there are divisions. If you open the Bible up, you've got to divide it. You open it, and it's divided from one side to the other. And the most basic division in the whole Bible is Old Testament and New Testament. So let's look at that today and look at this. Where does it divide the best? And what are the divisions? Well, as you go through the Bible, you, you see there's different time periods in different places that, that God is dealing with people in different ways, believe it or not. And as you study the Bible, you can make those divisions, and it makes the Bible come alive. So the most basic division in the Bible is all focused on Jesus Christ and what he did almost 2,000 years ago when he shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. And that is what caused the most basic division. The Bible says in Hebrews, it says, the death of a testator is what causes a New Testament. So we see the Old Testament, and we see the New Testament. And the New Testament starts with the death of a testator. Before Jesus died, God was dealing with the nation of Israel. And that was the law, the law of Moses. But over here, we have grace. The Bible says that the law came by Moses, but grace and truth through Jesus Christ. So we have Jesus. And this is Jesus Christ. And this is the most basic division in the entire Bible. And after Jesus died, will we see God changing from Israel to the church. And as we see the Bible, we see there's even more basic divisions in the Bible. Different times in which God deals with people. The Bible talks about when God takes the church out at the rapture. And so the rapture would be here, and after the rapture would be the time of Jacob's trouble, when God goes back to dealing with the nation of Israel, and that's called the tribulation. Here we also see the time of the battle of Armageddon, Armageddon, in which God, Geddon, in which God deals with the Antichrist who shows up here. And then God sits up and reigns, uh, sits on a throne and reigns for a thousand years in his millennial kingdom. So a thousand years he reigns in the kingdom. Have you ever looked at the Bible? Have you ever thought about these basic divisions? There was a guy named John who showed up, and the Bible says the law and the prophets were to John. And John showed up baptizing the people of Israel, pointing them to the Messiah. And it was all about, hey, your Messiah is showing up. Then Jesus did his earthly ministry for three and a half years. And Jesus' earthly ministry was to the Jews. Jesus Christ said, I came only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we see Jesus' ministry, then we see his death, burial, and resurrection. And then we see in the early book of Acts. By the way, the book of Acts is a transitional book. A lot going on in the book of Acts. A lot of changing going on. And we see what's called the Apostles' Doctrine. In the Apostles' Doctrine, God was still dealing with Israel and giving him another opportunity to accept that Messiah, but they rejected him. And so God said, Paul, come here. And God gave Paul a bunch of revelations, and God gave Paul a bunch of mysteries. And as you read the Bible, it's fun to go to the Pauline epistles and to see how God has revealed so much to him that is for us today, that is the heart of New Testament doctrine. But have you ever studied that? Have you ever thought about studying the Bible and uh, rightly dividing? Why don't you come back with us and uh, we'll continue this little series and we'll be looking at some of these different divisions more in detail and studying more of the Bible. You can go to thecloudchurch.org, which is my website, and you can also go to Robert Breaker channel on YouTube. And you can study with us every week as we continue our study through the Word of God. So I want you to come back and study more because I want you to study and be approved. And I want you to rightly divide. Thanks for watching.